welcome back everyone so in this video i will be sharing one single setting to fix any kind of fps stuttering problem on your windows 10 and windows 11. so many people who do the gaming on their computer and even they have the high-end pc they face this problem of the stuttering and the drop in the fps and majority of the people have this problem just because of the game dvr option on their computer and most of the people they do not use it and many they disable from the setting but still this application run in the background and this become the cause of the fps drop and even the stuttering problem all right so let me show you if i search for game bar in the search box so right now you can see my game bar has been turned off from the settings but as soon as you feel open any kind of game like valorant or fortnite or any other so you can see my valorant game is up and now if i go back to my task manager so you will find the game bar presence writer.exe is running and it occupy a lot of resources and this basically become the most common reason of fps stuttering on your computer so what you will have to do you need to disable this option by renaming it so what exactly you will have to do you just need to disable it completely so that you should not have this kind of problem all right so what you will have to do bring up your file explorer from the left in menu option click on local disk c then click on c drive then look for the windows folder double click on it then you have to look for system 32 scroll down you will find system 32 double click on it now click anywhere on this folder then press the g key press again and then you will come to game bar presence writer.exe so what we will do here in order to disable it we will rename it but we do not have the enough permission and if i make a right click and choose rename and add anything to rename it so you will see that i'm getting this error message that file access denied all right so what you will have to do next right click on it then click on properties then from the top menu option you have to click on security then click on advanced now here you have to click on change now add your admin account or the user account through which you are logged in with the admin right so in order to check it what you can do you can click on your windows icon then click on the user account icon click on change account settings now this will display your user account name whether it's a local account or a microsoft account and whether you have the admin right or not so it can be microsoft or it can be a local account whichever it is like my is microsoft account so i will go back and type that user account name or the email account so once you type the name click on check names and if the name has been highlighted with the username and underline it means you have typed the right name all right so once you have selected you have to click on ok and now here you will find that the owner has been changed with the current user that we just added now below you will find your user account as well so just make a double click on it a new box will be up now here make sure that the type has been selected to allow then in the basic permission give the full control click on ok now you also need to look for trusted installer so make sure whether the access is full control or not and if not then click on edit give the full control click on ok and now you can see that our user account the owner account has the full control now okay so click on apply click yes click on ok click on ok now we are ready to rename it so if i make a right click on it choose rename now in order to rename i would recommend you that take such kind of name that you can quickly identify that what changes you have made so that in future if you want to revert the action so you can easily remove that name so i will just write a starter so that i can easily remember it that why i just uh, renamed it and then if i click anywhere then click on continue click on yes so now you can see that this file this application has now been successfully renamed all right so now you are all done close it and simply restart your computer and the next time 
when you will enjoy your game you will find this game dvr will not be running in the background due to which you will not find any kind of stuttering and the fps drop on your computer and in your gaming so that's all guys hopefully you will enjoy this video and found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye